Welcome back everyone. Time now is 623 and this morning new research published in the journal Nature is shedding light on an alarming loss in biodiversity among animals in the wild. In today's Earth 8 report we break down why it's happening and what we can do about it. It's the first comprehensive global analysis of genetic diversity and it's not showing good news. Researchers found that biodiversity in two thirds of animals and plants around the globe was declining. Well, we know that genetic diversity is what enables populations and species to adapt to future changes in their environment. So whether that may be a new disease coming through or a heat wave or some other kind of change in the environment. And if a population has lost its genetic diversity, then it's lost that capacity to adapt and it's lost that resilience. Researchers examined data from the fur and stool of 628 species between 1985 and 2019 and found that the decline in diversity could affect an animal's ability to adapt to future environmental changes and points to a stronger chance of extinction. A lot of the causes of a loss of genetic diversity and a lot of causes of loss of species resilience are many of the same things that you would be familiar with that are causing a loss of biodiversity in general. So it is a loss of habitat as a result of human activities, uh, changing habitat and changing landscapes. Uh, things like increasing natural disasters like the major bushfires that we've seen in Australia in recent years, uh, new diseases emerging, and, uh, and so on. Off you go, little fellow. Higher genetic diversity, on the other hand, means there's a greater chance that a species will endure, according to Dr. Sylvia Perez Espona, a co-author of the study in Nature. When you lose genetic diversity, you lose this potential. And we don't know, sometimes this, this loss of diversity obviously sometimes can be at random because uh, some individuals will die and, and they won't be able to pass the disfavorable genes. But if you have enough genetic diversity, there's more potential for the populations to be able to adapt to the changes. So while there's cause for concern, the study also shows that conservation efforts are working. Those efforts help to connect isolated populations and can even help maintain or even restore genetic diversity. They were able to establish populations on islands and on a fence reserve, and in doing that, help to increase the population size. And by using their genetic data, they were able to maintain genetic diversity as well. Evan Narani, CBS 8.